Now let's have our third property of parallelogram. Consecutive angles of parallelogram are supplementary. When we say supplementary, the two pair of angles is equal to 180 degrees. So let's say we have our parallelogram A, B, C, and D. So the consecutive angles are A and B. So measure of angle A plus measure of angle B that is equal to 180 degrees. Another angles are B and C. So measure of angle B plus measure of angle C is equal to 180 degrees. We also have angle C and angle D. Measure of angle C plus measure of angle D that is equal to 180 degrees. And measure of angle A plus measure of angle D that is equal to 180 degrees. So that is the supplementary angles of a parallelogram R congru are supplementary. So they are equal to 180 degrees. Now let's have our example number one. Quadrilateral WXYZ is a parallelogram. What is the measures of angle W and angle Z? So we have the given. We know that in our property number three, if we're going to add the measure of angle W plus the measure of angle Z, that is equal to 180 degrees. Now, substitute our given. So W is 5X plus 20 plus measure of angle Z is 3X is equal to 180. 5X plus 3X, that is 8X plus 20 is equal to 180. Now we have 8X is equal to 180 minus 20. Now, 8x is equal to 180 minus 120, that is 160. So we have 8x is equal to 160. Um, to find x, we need to divide by 8. So x is equal to 160 divided by 8, that will give us 20. Since we have value for x now, so just substitute measure angle w is equal to 5x plus 20. So 5 times our x is 20 plus 20. 5 times 20, that is 100, plus 20, 120 degrees. Okay. Measure angle w is 120 degrees. Now measure angle measure angle Z is equal to 3x. So 3 times our x is 20. 3 times 20, that is 60 degrees. To check our property number 3, there's some, uh, since angle W and angle Z are consecutive angles in our parallelogram, their sum must be equal to 180. So 120 plus 60, that is 180 degrees. So that is our property number three. Consecutive angles of parallelogram are supplementary. Now let's have our example number two. Given the parallelogram KLMN and the measure of angle L is 4x plus 13, for angle M is 3x plus 6, for angle, angle N is 4y minus 15, and for angle K is y plus 45. We're going to apply our property number 3 consecutive angles of a parallelogram R supplementary to find x, y, and measure angle K, measure angle L, M, and N. Let's start with the measure of angle x. So letter A. To find x, we know that applying our property number 3, if we're going to add the consecutive angles, 
measure angle L plus measure angle M, their sum is 180 degrees. So measure angle L is 4x plus 13 plus measure angle M is 3x plus 6 is equal to 180 degrees. Now, 4x plus 3x, that is 7x, plus 13 plus 6, that is 19, is equal to 180. Now we have 7x is equal to 180 minus 19. So 7x is equal to 180 minus 19 is 100, 160. One. Now divide um, 161 divided by 7 161 divided by 7 So we have 2, 2 times 7, 14 Subtract 21 So 21 divided by 7, we have 3 So 7, 14, 21, 23 So divide by 7, x is equal to 23 Okay x is equal to 23. Next, after finding x, proceed in letter B, solve for y. Again, applying our property number 3, measure angle K plus measure angle N, that is equal to 180 degrees. K, y plus 45 plus angle N is 4y minus 15 is equal to 180. Now, combine like terms, y plus 4y, that is 5y. 45 minus 15, that is positive 30, is equal to 180. 5y is equal to 180 minus 30. 5y is equal to 180 minus 30, 150. So divide by 5, y is equal to 150 divided by 5, that is 30. Okay. Since we have now values for x and y, we can now get the following angle measures. For angle k, measure angle k, that is equal to y plus 45. So substitute, our y is 30 plus 45 30 plus 45 that is 75 degrees next measure angle L L is 4x plus 13 4x plus 13 4 times x is 23 plus 13 so we have 4 times 23, so that is 92 plus 13. 92 plus 13 is 105 degrees. Okay, 105 degrees. And now, you can use our property number 2. The opposite angles are congruent. Or if you want, just substitute again using our desired given. So measure angle M is equal to 3x plus 6. So we have 3 times x is 23 plus 6. So we have 3 times 23, that is 69 plus, am I correct? 69 plus 6, that is 75 degrees. And last, measure angle N. So, measure angle N is equal to 4y minus 15. So we have 4 times 30 minus 15. 4 times 30, that is 120 minus 15, 105 degrees. So 105. Now, um, this is 75. Angle L is 105, angle M is 75, then angle N is 105. So to check, 
consecutive angles is equal to 180 degrees. So 105 plus 75, 180. 75 plus 105, 180. And we can also use the property number 2. Opposite angles are equal. So 75 is equal to 75. 105 is equal to 1. So that is the property number 3. Consecutive angles of a parallelogram are supplementary.